In this video, I meet up with another Amazon seller who is absolutely smashing it at the minute. And in the past 30 days, they have done over £20,000 in sales. And not only is he smashing the sales, his ROI is through the roof and the majority of his products are sourced via retail arbitrage. I spent the day with him to see exactly how he does it and to show you guys how you can make a full-time income just buying products in store and selling them on Amazon. At the end of the video, we will look at some of the products we have bought, the potential profits we are gonna make, and also some top tips to help you when it comes to sourcing in store. And I've actually already sold some some of the products you're going to see but I'll show you that later on in the video. So I'm here with Justinas. He's been smashing retail arbitrage at the minute. We just pulled up at Sainsbury's. We're going to go in Sainsbury's and see what we can find. But this month alone, I think you've done £20,000 in sales, haven't you? And over £6,000 in profit in the last 30 days. Majority of that is from doing retail arbitrage. So £21,000 in sales and over £6,000 in profit with an 82% ROI. If you've sold on Amazon or you're selling on Amazon, you will know that an 82% ROI is absolutely insane. So we're going to head in Sainsbury's now and see what we can find and hopefully he can show me how he is making all this money. So first product, these Olay whips reduced down to £10.50. I'm currently doing 72 sales a month with a 48% ROI, so five pound profit a unit. Six of them in there, that's 30 pound profit on that one product. So we've just found another one, another Olay product, reduced down to nine pound, 70 sales a month, three pound profit a unit, and there is plenty of them in there, probably about 15 units of those. And we've just found another one here, this is reduced down to 10 pound, currently selling on Amazon, for £27.50, it's a slower seller, but 105% ROI, it's a £10.50 profit a unit. Six of them in there, so that's £60 profit just from that one product. So, just hit Sainsbury's, and we have found over £100 in profit, at least, already in the first store, and we've got multiple Sainsbury's to go to, and more stores, you know, as does Tesco's, whatever. Um, so here's a few of the products that we've bought so far. So there's a couple of the Olay products that we bought. We have got a bag full in the back here. And this one product here is selling over 70 times a month. The cost price was nine pound. And that's a three pound 44 pence profit. And this Olay product here, 10 pound 50. Again, selling over 70 times a month, making three pound 61 per unit. So in total, we got over 30 units, both making over three pound profit a unit. So that's 90 pounds in profit just from a couple of products in our first store. So we're gonna head off now, hit some more Sainsbury's, hopefully find some more of them products. And yeah, I'll keep you updated. of these drops they was reduced down to 53 pence and that's making one pound 27 a unit so one pound 27 times 95 that's over a hundred pound profit just on these and then from boots we got these la roche pose creams only a few of them and the profit on some of these is over 13 pounds selling 47 times a month so for three shops so far we've got over 250 pound in profit we've got a few more shops to hit hopefully we can push over 300 pound profit just from doing a little bit of retail arbitrage so we've just finished our retail arbitrage trip we've got quite a bit of stuff i think between us we spent between 12 and 1500 pound we've easily got over 400 pound profit so we had a pretty decent day sainsbury's was really good to us we found loads of bits in sainsbury's so if you are out and about make sure you are checking in sainsbury's because they have got a lot of good stuff in the clearance section we also got these out of tesco's 11 pound 50 selling on amazon for 22 pound 50 so a nice markup on those as well so Justinas, what tips have you got for beginners that want to do some retail arbitrage? Just scan, scan and scan. Just go into the shops and scan as much as you Look can. Look at the clearance, reduce my items, and also do this good stuff. Just scan, yeah? Yeah. All right, sweet.
So let's go over some of the products that we've bought today and break down some of the potential profits that we're going to make. I'm going to start with some products that I've actually already sold. Now I've already sold four units of these. I did buy a total of 18 of these from Tesco's. The club card price was £11.50 and I've been selling them on Amazon for £22.70. Now the profit I'm making from them is £4.88 a unit. I've got 18 of them so that gives me a total profit from them 18 products of £87.04. We then got over 50 of them Olay products. There was two different types of creams that we bought from multiple Sainsbury's and in total we got over 50 units. They're making £3.60 profit a unit. That gives us £180 profit from them two products. We got 95 of those purple hair colour things from Tesco's. They're making £1.27 profit a unit. And that's a total profit from them of £120.65. We got six of the L'Oreal hair products out of the first Sainsbury's that we went in. They're making over £10 profit a unit, so that's £60 in total. And just from those five products, that's a potential profit of £447.69. Now we did get some other bits out of Boots, but it was only like five or six units, so I haven't added them on. But just from about six hours of sourcing in store, we've made a potential profit of over £400. Now obviously we do have to sell these products and people always say we haven't sold them yet, so you haven't made any profit. But this isn't something that we're just doing for a video. This is something that he is doing multiple times a week and buying hundreds upon hundreds of units across multiple stores. And I have actually sold four units of the toy that we've got from Tesco's. And from them four sales, I've made £4.88 a unit but you can already see from that that the stuff we are buying and sending in is selling now I'm going to go over some top tips, not just from me, but from Justinus as well, um, when it comes to sourcing in store. Now when you're a beginner, you won't really know what you're looking for, but every store that you go into will have a clearance section. Sometimes they have multiple ones, sometimes they have a clearance section within a section. So say if you go to the beauty aisle in Tesco's, they might have a little section that's on clearance. And depending on what store you go in, generally items that are marked down or on sale are marked with a different price tag. So for example, when you go into Sainsbury's, all you wanna be looking for is the red price tag. So you go to the beauty section, look at the red price tags, and then all you're doing is scanning those products and checking if there's any profit on Amazon, if they're selling well on Amazon, etc., etc. So the best tip for Sainsbury's is just look for the red labels, go to the toy section, go to the beauty section. You don't wanna to waste too much time just scanning items that aren't on sale. So you wanna check the clearance sections, check the red tags if you're in Sainsbury's, other shops have different colors obviously the more you go into the shops the more you will start seeing these things and then all you're going to do is scan all the products in the section whatever products in the clearance section you're going to scan that whatever products are marked down in the stores you're going to scan them as well so there is a lot of scanning especially when you first start it will take a lot of time but over time once you're used to going in them shops generally the clearance section is in the same place and you will start to recognize certain products that are reduced but aren't good for selling so you won't even bother scanning them and then over time once you keep repeating the process of course you're going to get quicker and more efficient when it comes to sourcing so the next tip is when you find a profitable product in a retail store maybe as the Sainsbury's wherever if you find a good product in that one store they could be running a nationwide sale so that product might be reduced in all of them stores so let's say Tesco's for instance you go in there there's a great deal what you then want to be doing is going to as many Tesco's as possible obviously providing that product is good but hit as many Tesco's as you can now of course you're gonna to have to go out of your local area unless you live in a big city because you might only have one maybe two Tesco's in your local area so it does take time this isn't something that you just go to one store and make loads of money you've got to hit multiple stores and the more stores you hit the more money you're gonna make now there's gonna be times where you go in two three four five stores maybe a whole day of going into stores and not finding products especially at the start when you're not really sure where you're looking what you're scanning but then over time you will start to recognize products and some products you can go in and buy the same products every single week so you'll go one week it's there you'll go the next week it's there and you just keep buying the same products so the third tip is route planning so what you want to try to do is plan a route out obviously this is going to save you time but once you've done that route multiple times you've gone into the same stores few weeks months down the line your trip is going to become a lot more successful and a lot more quicker you're going to know exactly where to go exactly where to look and exactly what products to purchase so get on your computer get a list of your local Sainsbury's local Tesco's local Asda's local B&M's and plan a route that you can do so make sure you plan your route especially if you're going into a different town or city and that brings me on to the final tip which is source outside of your area obviously you're going to be sourcing your local area but if you can go out to other areas maybe on the weekend when you get time or if you get a day off work plan another route in another town or city and hit all them stores to really make a good success with retail arbitrage you need to be going to as many towns and cities as possible and that does mean putting the miles in 
doing the distance and really putting the time in going to these other stores. Justinus would spend over an hour, two hours driving to a new location to then spend the day sourcing all of them stores. And of course, if you're finding profitable products in your local retailers, then you could probably find them in other retailers as well. And that's how you really take this to the next level. Go to different towns, go to different cities and buy as many units as possible. So let's just quickly summarize this. Always go to the clearance sections first and always look for the reduced items in the certain sections. So look for the color coded labels depending on what store you're in. Make sure you're scanning as many products as you can, but don't waste time scanning all the products that aren't on sale. So clearance section, sale items, scan as much as you can. Make sure you plan your route, especially if you're just starting because you don't want to be going back and forth to different stores, driving here, there and everywhere. You want to make this as quick and as efficient as possible. And when you can find the time, make sure you go to different areas, different towns, different cities and source there as well. Now, hopefully you've got some good value from this video. Hopefully it's motivated you to maybe start an Amazon business, get into your local stores and see what products you can find. And believe me, there is hundreds and hundreds of profitable products out there that you can find and you really can make a full-time income. Literally just go into retail stores, buying products that are reduced and then selling them back on Amazon at retail price. Once you've learned how to do this, put the time in, you will start seeing results and you really won't be able to believe how much money you can actually make doing this. Now, if you have watched it this far into the video, first of all, I just wanna say thank you. And I am gonna run a little giveaway. I'm gonna be giving away a free month to my Amazon FBA group. All you've gotta do is like this video, subscribe to the channel and in the comments below, if you're already selling on Amazon, I want you to tell me what your best in-store find was. And if you don't sell on Amazon, but you'd like to get started, I want you to let me know why you want to start Amazon FBA. But that's it from me. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.